Pisces and welcome to your scribing uh, channeled messages within remote viewing for today. I will explain further on in the reading but for a lot of you I'm also picking up a lot through what come through Aries. Aries reading that I just did okay had something to do with around a person here okay and that I'm putting strength back into my life so they really kind of come through from that reading still but you've got someone that's following you a shadow that's following you which means that you might have children or they're always keeping an eye on you and they're always seeing like when you walk away from them okay so I'm picking up like an eight of cups which would probably be like an Aquarian or a Leo placement maybe and I'm always keeping an eye on you as you walk out the door in the door out the door you could be dealing with a Gemini for a lot of you or a Capricorn which means numerology of six. Just very quickly, Pisces, I know before we get into it. Okay, so this is remote viewing, and it's also channeling, okay, but it's very important to follow your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter to find out, and the numerology of how I read, to find out the story that unfolds when we end up doing a whole picture, because then we pick out messages that are relating to certain star signs, and if you follow them all, then you'll pretty much know where you are within what it is that's coming out. So if you've got a Scorpio or an Aries placement or anybody around you that is like a life path four, a Scorpio or an Aries that is around you, okay, you could even be a life path three watching this from a Pisces perspective, it's coming through as the same message for your channeled stuff. So what it's telling me is, is that a lot of you could be doing things around the gym or someone that broke their leg, okay, or I've got back pain, okay, and I'm trying to build up my strength, unless you're dealing with a Leo, I'm trying to build up my strength in order to be able to start walking again. So it might be someone that you're looking after that's elderly, it might be like an elderly person or like a relative, pick up like a relative of mine, okay, but this energy here is what I'm kind of picking up, is a person that's always following my shadow, okay, so this is the pavement, this is either you or the person, and then this person is always looking at you when you are not looking. Like when you're so say if you're at work or if you're just about to go out the door, okay, when you walk out, this person always looks at you to see where you're going. Okay, so they're basically like tracking your movements to see where it is that you're going. So it's kind of like, you're right, Pisces, where are you going? Oh, I'll be out and I'm just going out. Okay, I'm just going out. You don't have to bother where I'm going. I haven't got time to start and talk. I'm just on my way out. Okay, so it's kind of like someone that always tries to catch you at the last moment. And because they haven't actually been drawn in here, it's someone that you try to get away from fast. Okay, so I'm picking up like fast travel. As I'm going out the door, I'm trying to get out the door really quickly because this person always asks you right at the most inconvenient moment, what time will you be back, where are you going, how long are you going to be, blah, blah, blah. Now this might be children, say if you've got kids or this is you as a mother and you focus on your children all the time and they run out the door and they're not actually telling you where they're going or what they're doing or when they're coming back. It's a not wanted energy because it's the running man. So you could be dealing with a life path seven, a scorp uh, sorry, life path seven, cancer, okay, a cancerian or a life path seven. Very quickly again, if you've never seen the channel before, it's different to your just normal tarot card readings, okay. We're basically channeling, remote viewing, drawing pictures, and giving you your story of your channel messages, okay. So basically what I'm picking up so far is, is that someone tries to get off their pavement, like they're, they're putting one leg on their pavement and then they're doing something to do with around their back or trying to build up strength within their leg. Now if this isn't you, it's a family member or amber or amber herd, amber light, green light, something to do around a Cancerian, okay, <clears throat> um, but like Abbott, Amber, Abigail, something like that, Gail, something like that of a name. But someone is trying to build up the strength after an operation and it came through as the Aries. Four, Scorpio or Aries, okay? Uh, this person here is like a shadow person that is always wondering where you're going. So if you, as you try to get away from this person, they try to track you down all the time, trying to find out the ins and outs of your life, Picking this up could be an air sign possible, trying to find out information about this person, about whether they're strong enough to do it on their own, whether they're okay walking out on you. 
It might be like someone that always threatens and says, if you walk out on me, then don't bother coming back. Okay, it could be something like that. I'm picking up back, Jack, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack, Jackie. Something also to do with someone's back that might have like a uh, spine like here. Okay, and they might have like a hunched back spine or you might bend over a lot like I'm doing now and do every single day. And that you kind of bend over a lot like that and you might have something going on with your spine here. So you might be trying to do exercises in order to build up the dexterity within your back. And if you're not, it really could be someone within the family that comes from the Aries reading. So you, you're looking for fours. Scorpio, Aries, uh, life path four. Okay, there's an involvement here of the same message. But the difference between that message and now we're doing your reading is, is that what they were getting me to focus on more for your channel stuff was around this energy here of like a wall, meaning you might be putting your back up against the wall and my back is up against the wall constantly and you're like leaning down and like sometimes you can do that as an exercise. You put your back up against the wall and you do squat thrusts, okay? So you squat down on the wall here and then you kind of like stand up and then you squat down and then you hang. So something around building up strength and within my legs or my back. Now, whether this is because of or after an operation, I'm not sure. Or uh, Gary, or so Tina, or someone from Ireland or Idaho. Okay, to be sure, to be sure. Um, so building up strength. Some of you may not have a car anymore and you're deciding to go out for a lot of walks and you're walking quite a lot and all of that stuff and you're talking while you're walking but it's because there's some kind of like Fitbit energy or phone this might be a phone okay and I'm tracking the movements of this person of how far we've walked and how far have we gone and when will you be back and because it feels like that this is the point of reference here some of you might be looking for a reference from a person or a referee to say red flag. <laughs> so it might be a sporting injury that someone may have, like a sporting injury, um, or playing sports and there's kind of like football or red flags or something. Uh, you might be going to stay somewhere, which is like the red flags. It might be like a B&B uh, &B bed and breakfast somewhere. I don't know if they're called the red flags where you are. They're not actually called red flags here. They're called Premier Inn. So you might be uh, going to stay at a Premier Inn somewhere and when you get there you're on like a, I don't know, a couple of days in a Premier Inn and you're staying here and this is the point of reference and someone's got a phone in their hand, okay, someone has a phone in their hand and say, okay, we need to track down where this is so we can get back to it because it feels like we're going out and we need to go full circle to come back here, okay, so this would be like as I walk out the door, but for some of you, you might be going on a track, uh, on a trek, like you, you know, you're going around, blah blah blah, and then you end up coming back to here. So it could be like a, we're we're visiting somewhere that we've not really been before, so we need to know the details of where this house is. Okay, so that's pretty much what I've also got for the start of your, um, for your uh, channel stuff. But it really is kind of, um, it's kind of coming from that Aries slash Scorpio reading. Um, so Pisces, what have they got coming up this week? Uh, I keep hearing fuss, fuss, russ or fuss, fuss, fussing. Someone just keeps fussing. <laughs> they keep fussing over someone. Like, like I said, it feels like this shadow is around you, like always worrying. Like it came up through the Aries reading again. It was a nine of swords. And I'm always worrying about where you are. When will you be back? I need to know what time. Like and gathering so much information on like, I'm not sure where you are. And I need to know where, where you are at all times. It's a little bit like some people that have just given their children a, a phone for the first time. Okay, and if you're going to go, I need to know what time you're coming back and where you're going. And like how long you're going to be. And I need to know that you're not going to be coming back too late for a lot of you. So it's something like that because it feels like that this door here, whatever this is, it needs to be locked. Okay, and that I can't lock the door unless I know what time you're coming back. So you might have like elderly children or something like that or an elderly patient or resident. So some of you, this might be a residential home that you work in, okay, and it's kind of like uh, patients that kind of go out and uh, when they come back, you kind of like, okay, you can go out for a family visit, okay, but I need to know when they're coming back. Okay, so that might be elderly people, 
for some of them, what they're saying is, is this might be visitation of uh, like someone that may be in prison or someone that is of like, say you've got children and you've asked if they can kind of uh, go somewhere with you for a day or two. And they're kind of like, okay, have you got your sandwich and have you got your packed lunchbox? So you could be dealing with like a Virgo for a lot of you or a Life Path 9. Okay. And uh, have I got all this packed and is all that packed and blah, blah, blah. And you've got kids and children and you're trying to give them packed lunch boxes and all that sort of stuff to go to school. Or they're going on an outing somewhere that is relating where this isn't you. This is you as the parent. And they are going on an outing and you're kind of like making sure that they've got everything that they need for this physical outing. And it, it really could be something to do around the Scorpio Life Path 4 Aries because it said 4. Okay, Law, Laura, Lucy, Lucifer. <clears throat> something to do with Liz, Linda, Belinda. Hello, Linda and Belinda. Okay, or something to do with Capricorn of Lucy or Lucifer. Okay, Far, Fur, Furlough. Something to do with Fargo. Fargo or is it Far to Go? It's some kind of energy of like, how far do I have to walk? How far do I have to travel? How long is it going to be? So, or how long are you going to be? I mean, are you like planning on someone coming to visit and, and stay? And you don't know how long it is for them to travel somewhere for a lot of you. Because I keep picking up like a traveled, traveling uh, agency. So, uh, traveling agency. So, something here is of like making a plan and going to a travel agent and seeing how much that would be in order for someone to go and stay somewhere or stay see. Or to go to the States, the United States, and someone might be traveling to the United States or from the United States. Um, but uh, it feels like that I need to find out how much something is of like a hotel, okay? And how much would it cost to stay there? And if we are planning our route, planning the route, route, planning the route, okay? So it feels like going on Google Maps, okay, making a plan where to travel to and where to go, how much to fit in, how much can we fit in if we go so you know somewhere. I'm also hearing Soham or Soho. Soham, Soham or Soho? Soho. That's a place, right? So it could be a fish, Scorp uh, Piscean, another one, or yourselves, going to Soho or Soham. There's a travelling, I'm picking this up as a map, as a map, what I'm actually drawing here, I'm not looking at it, but... I'm picking up like it's a map. Like, it's kind of like someone giving someone a map and saying, there you go, there you go. Tesco, uh, Texaco, Mexico, Mexican, Mex Mexicans. Um, feels like a map that what I'm actually drawing is like planning out a, a map. Okay, following it and going on a hiking expedition. <coughs> or or um, someone giving you a new route if you drive for a living. So you drive. Okay, and there's, these are the people that you pick up on the way. Okay, and they're saying, okay, we need you to come here and pick up this person. <laughs> I'm also hearing ghost. So we do with Elijah, maybe. But like ghosts, don't believe in those ghosts. Um, so what else have we got here? So this is definitely something to do with what I started channeling here. And it's going, it's going here. Okay, so what is that? It feels like that we're going into this pit. So it feels like for some of you, you're going out for a walk and this is a, a summit hole of a pit. So it might, like here we call them like meeple pits um, or like a big river or something or river island, someone from river island or island or Idaho. But we go out for a lot of walks, okay? And uh, this is like the walking park, okay? And here is like a lake and a fishing, like the Lake District or the Peak District like Scotland or up north somewhere, okay, if you're from Britain and the UK, but like, you know, I go here and then we walk all the way around this river here, and we go this way, okay, and there's a little pit there, and there's a little island there, or this is a map of something, of the world, and then we kind of like go through here, and then we end up back at this point of reference, which is like a, a gate or a door, okay, so we go through it, we start off here, we go all around this river, we go all around this river, and this river, and here, and then we start here. So, like, from that, um, from the Aries reading, like I said, if you're a Pisces, like myself, right, and you've got, like, a Scorpio placement that comes up as an Aries reading, 
and any of these are kind of relating to you, then watch that reading because it's for Scorpio Aries, life path, right? So if you're doing that, you're doing a lot of, you're possibly doing a lot of sightseeing and a lot of walking, okay? And it takes you a little while to get here. Well, not actually not that far to get here. So that's kind of one or two messages that some of you have got. Okay, uh, what have we got here? This seems like a dragon for some reason. I'm picking up like two ears, okay, two ears, and like a very long kind of like, oh, it's, look, <laughs> it's dancing. There's two arms here, and there's the foot front leg here. There is something going on about someone's leg, like they broke their leg, or this is balancing. It's the same one that came here, okay. It's now here in a bigger form. This is new shoes or trainers, okay, and some that's the front leg, and this is the back leg, and it's being st on a stool or something here, and I'm balancing and then pushing here and kind of doing that on one leg, and that is pretty much what happened in this, in the Aries reading, it came up where I said this is their leg, okay, so basically it might not be the fact that you look like a fucking giraffe <laughs> or a dragon, so you could have something with Capricorn or Gemini here, okay, but like I said, this is one arm trying to find balance, this is the other arm that's kind of like in a 3D reading kind of here, so it would be more like that, and like step forward and then like that, so it's a bit like physiotherapy for some of you, Thera physio physiotherapy, or you're going to the gym or you work there, okay, and this is the foot that's kind of here. That's quite a good drawing. So if any of those relate to you guys, okay. Uh, what have we got if we put it that way, we've done that way. What have we got this way? So there's someone here or so. This feels like the continuation of walking from here and that's the reflection in the water. So if this is a pond, okay, pond tarot or pond. If this is a, a lake or a pond, okay, this feels like that this is the reflection of me when I get over this side of it that's the reflection of me so or alchemy or natalie but that is me but smaller when i get here so some of you are trying to lose weight okay like myself or anybody else and you go out for walks okay and this is you bigger but you're trying to become smaller now you can't shrink in size of how tall you are so unless this is a very tall person and this is a very small person okay i don't know pick up tall and small Smally, tally, folly, <laughs> uh, folly. Uh, I don't know. Lee, Laura, Lucy, Lucifer, Capricorn placement. I don't know, but it feels like that. This is one person here. They start off at the river, okay, and their reflection is very big, and then I end up this side where I'm very small. So it feels like I'm doing like track and running, track and field, and I either run around this, I bicycle around this, and go on my bicycle or I walk, or I run, but by the time I get here, I'm hopefully, hopefully I've lost some weight, okay, so wherever it is that you may live, you may live around somewhere where there's like a huge fishing lake, so you might even be someone that's also going fishing, fishing while we're here, okay, wish you were here, David, Dave, <coughs> or Roger, <laughs> or Gilmore, okay, Rogers, Rogers, uh, Roger Waters or uh, Kelly Waters, uh, Kelly, Keely, Casey, Cassandra, uh, Cass, Cass, uh, Casino. Someone might be uh, like at a casino with money. This could be like Las Vegas. Okay, Las Vegas, and this is a map of something. Okay, uh, I think that's roughly. Roughly all, what have we got? 19 minutes. So that's what I've got for you for your esoteric channel scribed. Okay, Pisces, just before we do, your tarot card readings now. Okay, so I'm going to do this for everybody because everybody loves a bit of something that I do. Okay, so last month while I got the teaching tier up and running to explain everything esoteric and 16 years of knowledge, that is open and up and running and there's like 32 videos there now and there will be more added this month. So that's another thing. But that was why I kind of had a bit of a break from YouTube. So now what I decided, because everyone was like, Steve, I, I really want some readings 
for people that just can't afford to buy. So what I thought I'd do is I'd do your channeled stuff instead of doing these and I'll do your tarot card readings for a little while only over on Patreon. Because <clears throat> for a start for a month or two, you were only getting just stuff on Patreon and I kind of come off YouTube for a little while to be able to get the teaching tier up and running. Now that's going, I thought I would do this for you for free. But if you want your tarot reading for the week, then you'll need to join Patreon, which is the full access bundle. It says weekly and monthly tarot readings. OK, so everyone star sign will get this. But if you want the tarot readings to say what you got coming up, which is going to be also a full spread, looking into uh, dark messages in the shadows, uh, and then also uh, hidden truth messages, stuff like that, you will need that access tier. That also helps me survive and be able to do this for everybody. Okay, so I really appreciate it. If you want to find out all about what I offer, is below. Don't forget the teaching tier is also very much there as well. Uh, Angel Radio is a music master and producer also there. Um, yeah, so look forward to it. Hopefully you like the scribing and the stuff like that uh, and, all of, and all of your tarot card readings now because when I finish this, I'm just about to do your tarot card reading but you will only be able to find it on the full access bundle, okay? All right, Pisces, thanks very much. I really appreciate it and I will see you soon.